Hello guys, this is Gmax from Gmax Studios. Today we're here for another amazing tutorial in the beautiful world of Photoshop. To support us also and help this channel grow and do better, please always drop a like on each of our videos that you come across every single time. And don't forget again, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification so that each time we post a video, you'll be notified. Okay, today our focus is on how to use Gaussian Blur to add texture or to sharpen your image yes i know it's the opposite of what it should be how would you use um, what is meant to blow an image to add texture then today get to watch the magic get to see the trick you're going to be using gaussian blow to add texture good texture to our image this was an image i shot and edited if you want to check out a video on how i retouch and how i create and there's a link above there you can check this is a before of this image and this is the after but many people always suffer from having images that are not too sharp and even when they post it online they don't get the result i want so let's see how we're going to sharpen this so i'm going to just delete this layer and then just have only this layer now if you look at this it is quite very soft and um, i'm not happy with this i want to add more texture to this image so one way that we can do this is i'm going to duplicate this layer two times and I'm going to name this layer vivid light vivid light and I'm going to name this layer normal all right once you're done with that I'm, come, I'm going to go over to my vivid light and then I'm going to click ctrl i to invert this image ctrl i to invert the image and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the blending um, option, the blending mode to vivid light. So once it's changed to vivid light, you get to see this gray image or this gray layer or gray surface over the image. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filter. I'm also going to go to convert for smart filter. Now why I'm doing this is so that if there's any adjustment I need to do, I can as well still come back and do that so it's very important that you do this right okay um i think we're done with that it has converted it for smart filter the next time we go is i'm going to go back to my filters and then i'm going to go over to go shem law now i'm going to take this all the way to zero so this is where the trick comes in how to use your gaussian blow to add texture to your image so now watch this i'm going to zoom this in and then you're going to see how this works the um they had the number you can see how much um texture that is being added so i'm going to add this all the way to let's say 2 2.0 2.0 is fine 2.0 is fine for me so if you can see before you're not seeing so much um, sharpness revealed but the after we've seen so much um, sharpness on this gray layer i'm just going to click ok and then i'm good the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the vivid layer and then also the normal layer and then i'm going to just group this so either i do ctrl g or command g or i can just as well drag this down here and then i automatically group this layer Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change this blend option again to overlay. Now, let's check this out. Before, after. Before and after. Now, if I'm not satisfied with the sharpness, the beautiful part of this is all I just have to do is come over to my Gaussian blow here and watch this the more I add on my Gaussian blow the sharper my image gets so let's just take for this image let's just take it to 3.5 so I think I like it at sorry okay, I think I like it at 3.5 so look at the eyes look at the eyes look at the skin so see how much texture it's 
was able to get back for me. So look at this. This is before, this is after, before, after. So I can quickly just mask this and then I'm going to invert it, control I. Then I can quickly just brush on where I would want to reveal that sharpness. Now, in um, one of my future videos, I'm going to be showing you comparing between um, this pattern of um, sharpening image and then um, your high pass. So I guess you'll be asking, what's the difference? Why would you why would you prefer this? Or why did you do this? Why didn't you just use high pass? Everybody knows. Yes, there's a reason I did that. And if you want to know why, please drop a comment in the comment section below. And I would do a video comparing between these and your regular high pass. So thank you so much for watching. So I'll off this and then I'll on it. So I remain Gmax from Gmax Studios. And please, if you love this content and you love this that we create and what we do, please do well to support us by subscribing to our channel and then also for us to be able to go further and grow further to reach more people please do well to like this comment because it helps us to stand out and then um, do well to drop a comment for us to know how well we're doing and if we need to do some improvement really appreciate your your concern have a great time till we meet again i may host gmax from gmax studios keep creating